Good morning, all of you. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay, let's uh, start with the next point. Uh, that is the information retrieval system. Now we are discussing this because this is also being considered as one of the most important application of the natural language processing. Some application already yesterday we have discussed typical application of the natural language processing. So, which are that uh, applications yesterday we have discussed applications of the natural language processing? Language translator, hmm. text summarization. Okay. Then voice assistant. Okay. Okay, so these email are the filtering. email filtering, chatbot, uh, etc. Et these are all the different kind of application yesterday we have discussed. Now, <clears throat> here I am saying this is also the another application of uh, natural language processing only. That is nothing but the information retrieval system. Let me show you the uh, demonstration so that uh, we can understand this part uh, more easily. Okay, suppose uh, if I suppose here in this uh, search bar, if I type, I hope you can see the change in the screen. Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. So yes, if sir, I sir. if I here type the what is the chart board, now you can see here we are getting getting the number of search results here. Yes or no? We are getting the number yes, of search sir. results. So what do you mean by these these search results? Yes, what exactly this is? <clears throat> Here we are trying to find some uh, information. Like we do want to know what we, what is actually mean by the chart board. Correct. We want the information related with the chart board. Understood. So what we are doing? So as we think this the search engine Google is a kind of search engine which can provide us the information. So here we type our query. Can we call this as a query? Yes. This has a one problem. Yes, sir. This has a one problem which we want uh, about which we want to know what exactly this chart board yes. is. So here we are typing your query and uh, when you are uh, searching the result of searching you are getting these multiple results. Now how these results are coming from where these results are coming what exactly process is happening? Yes. Yes, all of you got the question what I'm asking. When you type some query here, you are getting these results. How you are getting all these things from where? Database. Database. Where is that database? Hmm. Why this? Why this results come first, then this second, this third, like this? <clears throat> what is the reason behind this? Server side la data store ke le lasto. Yes. Means on the server side somewhere now server are present on the okay Google servers are there in the California. Okay, where the all this kind of related data is being stored and when you type some query here, <clears throat> you are getting the result related with that query means 
you are extracting this information from that database where uh, this information related with the chatbot is stored yes or no yes when you are typing some query here you are getting these results means you are extracting some information from that database yes sir means <clears throat> can you call the can you can i use the word <clears throat> for the extraction retrieval yes sir yes sir so this is the yes, word this is nothing but the information retrieving this is nothing but what information retrieval system understood when you are when you are having the need of some information now you type your query here in the natural language that is in the english language and you are getting the result of that particular query in the similar language one understood so here you are retrieving some needed information from some repository or from some database where this kind of information is being stored and that is nothing but the code as what information retrieval system the same point we are discussing here and that is the reason i am calling information retrieval system is one of the application of what natural language processing can we call it as application of the natural language processing yes or no yes yes because we are we are I, what natural language processing concept says we want the result from the system in the natural language in the sense if you if you ask the system some question in the english language we want the answer from the system in the same kind of language we want some kind of information from the system in the same kind of language and same result we are getting here the uh, example that i have shown we are typing the some query and we are getting the results related with that query so same point i have mentioned here that is related with the definition of what information uh retrieval system see the definition and try to apply the definition definition uh with the example that we have just discussed so here i have mentioned the information retrieval is the activity of obtaining relevant information from collection of the information so resources now what is the information resources here in case of the example that i have shown you information resources database. are nothing but database various database. kind of database which we also call as a repositories where the data is being stored understood so whatever the so that activity of retrieving or extracting the uh, relevant information from the information resources that is called as the information retrieval okay so same similar points i have mentioned below the information retrieval process begins when user enters a query into the system and queries now queries are nothing but the any kind of you can see queries not like just like uh, if you type the question up, uh, after that particular statement that is only the query that is also the query but if you just simply type the simple statement also okay if you just simply type the simple statement also that can be also considered as a query only suppose if i if i just mention here ki artificial intelligence so this is being also considered as a query okay this is being also considered as a one particular statement okay and uh, so this is nothing but the concept of what information retrieval okay now <clears throat> so similar kind of points i have mentioned here user queries are match against the database information okay whatever you type there that is get match with the database information and depending on the what kind of uh, uh, what kind of input you give there okay if you give the input in the form of the text documents uh, image audio map video etc etc now whatever things you are searching you get the result in the form of these different kind of things you will get the result in the form of the textual information audio mapping video information etc etc okay and uh, as uh, i told you uh, ki why we are getting such kind of results <clears throat> okay here you can see uh, if you type there the artificial intelligence or previously we have discussed when you type here the what is chatbot you are getting the first uh, this this particular uh, ex, uh, website that is expertsystem.com you will get the result of that particular uh, website related with the chatbot information at the first level 
understood you get that result as a first level then you get the next wikipedia at the second level and uh, uh, likewise understood so <clears throat> the meaning of this this particular website is being ranked at the first level what do you mean by this related with the chat board this particular information resource being ring being ranked at the first level what is the meaning of this yes the another another resources like this uh, revichat.com uh, this is being ranked afterwards then these things are ranked afterwards what is mean by this yes why this result has not been shown by the website first at the first level all of you able to see yes why this is this result not shown at the first level yes all of you getting the question yes sir so why this is why uh, why this information resource at this website being ranked first level and others are being ranked afterwards so google sa ek algorithm hai tyacha through hote sarte means does it mean that does it mean that this particular information resource website is having the most relevant information related with the chat board yes sir so that is nothing but called as hit ratio that is called as what hit ratio h i t hit ratio means this particular website is having the most relevant information that's why this is being shown first then wikipedia is being shown afterwards and then likewise other things are being displayed to us understood so that is the next point ki whatever the query you type there now based on your query the things uh, get match and the uh, according to that uh, the most information retrieval system compute the numeric score on how well each object in the database match with the query and according to that the ranking of the documents or the ranking of the uh, objects carry on with certain value that value is called as a hit ratio okay and the top ranking objects or the top ranking documents are shown to the user okay top ranking now on the basis of what the top ranking uh, is being get decided on the basis of what is the relevance of that particular document with your query if the relevance of your document with that query uh, if the relevance of your query or the document uh, match with certain uh, information which is stored in the database uh, then that that website or that information resource will shown to you at the first level okay so on the basis of this that particular level that which information you will get at the first level second level etc get decided on the basis of relevancy or on the basis of uh, exact matching of your query with that particular certain information which is stored on the that particular uh, uh, information uh, database okay and the another, so here technical definition also i have mentioned the information retrieval may be defined as a software program it is a kind of software program that deals with the organization storage retrieval and the evolution of the information from document repository particularly textual information and other kind of information so, so it is just not retrieving the information okay information retrieval system is just not related with the retrieving of information it is also related with what organization organization means what organization in the sense what information retrieval may be defined as a software program that deals with what organization storage retrieval evaluation etc now what do you mean by the organization organizing the data means what organizing the data in the sense arranging the data in certain form yes or no representing yes, the data in certain form then it also does the functioning of the storage and the evaluation of the information evaluation of the information in the sense ranking of the information ranking of the documents etc etc so this system assists the user this system help the users in finding the information they required 
and now most of the times we find the required information most of the time we may not we might not find the required information so based on that here the statement is written the this information retrieval system uh, help the users in finding the information they require but it may not be explicitly written the answer of the particular question ata apan search kelanantar pratyek veles aplyala exact answer miltas asa asa hota ka does it happen that we will get the exact result that we are uh, expecting no sir no so whatever information being stored there accordingly you will get the results understood so this system inform the existence and the location of the documents that might consist of the required information so information retrieval system shows you where this information is present like you see there on the certain website that information is present location of that website etc etc and this document that satisfy the user requirements okay that particular query when you type the query and you get the results and you get certain documents as output so that particular documents will satisfy the user requirements that documents are referred as what the relevant documents if that documents are not according to the queries of the user can you call it as a relevant document or can you call it as a relevant information yes if you type some query and you will get the result but that result is not uh, as you are expected understood so can you call that particular information as a relevant information or the relevant document no sir oh, sir no so that is the okay if you get the result according to your expectation then we call it as a relevant if you don't get the result according to your expectation we call it body as a relevant and accordingly here you can see this is nothing but the architecture of the information retrieval system is being formed so in the exam definitely question used to be there on the irs okay and definitely you have to refer this diagram now to explain that particular answer related with the irs now this is the sample uh, architecture here you can see uh, user side and the uh, other side that is the uh, what you can say uh, from where you are going to uh, get that information so here you can see the query now who is going to make the query yes who is going to make that query if you want to some information you you yourself have to make the query yes or no? yes sir. yes so the user will make the query from this side okay and then after that you can see the second component here is what representation function means what after you make the query there is a second part that is the representation function and then next we have the query representation and the comparison function now this is the user side understood and you can call this as a document side or you can also call it as a document document sub system or we can call this part as a user sub system now here also you can see the document then document uh, representation function and then uh, you can see here the indexing component is there okay and now at last these things are get match and then you get the hits here ranking of the documents and accordingly the result is get displayed to you now these components we are going to discuss in details and here on the basis of that particular architecture on the that architecture you have just seen on the basis of that architecture we have divided this architecture into the three parts like user sub system then the document sub system and then last one is a searching or the retrieval sub system okay you should you should keep that uh, diagram in front of your eyes okay all of you just uh, understood that figure yes sir okay you just keep in front of you this part okay Uh, like or if you have the notebook you can uh, within a, some second you can just draw okay uh, these components as architecture okay on the user sub system or the query representation comparison etc and on the other side we have the document and representation function and index okay so let's see the components one by one so here we have the first component that is a user sub system okay user sub system means this is this is the things uh, on the side of the users okay so what the user does when user need some information users uh, 
type some problem there or uh, make some query now what is the query now query is related with the uh, user the uh, required the particular kind of information user is uh, needing understood so this is being referred as a problem or the query so related to the user task situation vary in the vary in the specificity and the clarity understood so uh, suppose uh, there are the two student xyz student and the abc student now they want to know about the artificial intelligence okay understand the situation now xyz students may type their may type his problem in the different way may ask his query in the different way on that search engine abc student may ask his query in the different way it can happen or not you are getting the situation what i am saying there are the two student xyz student and the abc student and they want to know about the what is artificial intelligence so the so xyz student might type his query in the different way might ask the question in the different way might make the statement in the different way and abc student might ask the query in the different way it can happen or not yes yes sir yes, so yes, sir. so users uh, users way of uh, asking the query may be uh, different in the specification or in the clarity okay so also the results that you are going to get uh, from the information retrieval system de also depends on what is the clarity of your query what is the problem uh, what what kind of question you are asking there and what is the way of asking the question what is the way of uh, searching some particular topic on that particular searching okay so in this first uh, component of the user sub system that is the problem and the query uh, their actual communication between or interaction between the human and the computer start when you type something on that uh, uh, for example google search engine that time you can see the interaction between the human and computer start okay and that problem or the query that is the something which goes into the computer system okay and uh, you can also change your query you can also change your statement okay you can do the adjustment related with the searching etc etc so that is nothing but the first component first component that is what that is nothing but the problem and the query when the when the user asks some query or the user asks his problem on the search engine that is the considered as a first component of the user search system okay that is a part of your uh, architecture of the irs now second component after a user type the query the second component is nothing but the representation now what do you mean by this second component when you type something on the search engine anything second component is the representation representation means what now does this representation is done from the user side or it is a part of the system part of the system okay user can make the query can type their problem can ask the statement etc etc but representation is in the sense what what do you mean by this representation now definitely we, we can't do the representation once now our party just making the query asking the uh, questions or the asking some information now does it require that system should need that particular query which is asked by the user in certain form and the certain uh, in certain uh, systematic way or will the system will give you the result based on the question you have asked as it is or uh, do there or is there any need okay to represent that particular query problem statement that user has asked in certain form representation is required or not yes sir Okay, yes sir so when you when you ask some something on the google search engine okay you know to you know you know to get you the good result 
that particular query statement has to be represented in certain form understood it, that particular statement query has to be purified it has to be analyzed understood it has to be represented in certain form so that user can get the good result so that user can get the expected results then which things are comes in the representation then that is the main part here which things are comes under the representation representation in the sense what the query which is being asked by the user or the problem which is being asked by the user translate putting that in certain form okay putting that in certain uh, form or putting that in certain format so that user can get the good result okay that is considered as a representation now in the representation different things are comes okay now first thing which comes in the representation is nothing but the creating the document without headers and the tags what do you mean by this creating the documents without headers and the stack uh, creating the document with uh, sorry without header and the tag means what yes when you when you type something on the suppose on the search engine okay when you type something on the search engine like what is this what is that etc etc now actually it goes to the system in this kind of form you are getting my point now this is what is this what i have shown this yes programs huh? related with what it is it is some kind of html xml code yes html code yes sir okay. now where now what you are trying to search you are searching artificial intelligence correct what yes, is yes. you are trying to search artificial intelligence now here now here your code here here your statement that you want to search but you can see it is being it is being surrounded by a lot of another kind of things correct or not yes sir so what the system first thing does in the representation it eliminate all this part which part these tags headers these all the tags you are getting what i'm trying to say when when yes. system trying to search for this statement system eliminate all these parts these tags and headers and all these things getting yes sir and that is the first step in the representation document without header and the tag so system just have to focus on what this part what is being what is been asked by the user getting yes, and that is nothing but the first step in the representation document without header and the tag so when you are typing searching typing here something for the searching we don't think about all this part because this is not this is not our role this is being done by the system itself and when system searching for something then it remove all these parts okay and it just go for this part only so that is the first step that is the creating the documents without headers and the tags okay then next thing is also important in the representation that is the okay this is done stemming doing the stemming related with the document uh, related with the uh, something which is asked by the user do you know what do you mean by the stemming stemming means what okay stemming means nothing but creating the what you can say base form or generating the base form of some text or generating the base form of some statement okay here i mentioned stemming the simplified form of the morphological analysis which is nothing but the heuristic process of extracting base form of, of the word by chopping the end of the words so chopping something is nothing but considered as a stemming okay here what the what the meaning we have to take stemming is nothing but what creating some simplified form of the words how or creating some base form of the words how by chopping the some end of the words let me take you the example here now if you want to search on the search engine regarding the laughing can you able to see this yes sir 
if you want to search regarding the laughing now as a part of the representation and in the second step of representation that is the stemming what system does this laughing this laughs this laugh this all these kind of words now this all these kind of words not what is the base of all these words can tell me what is the original words related with this all the words what is laugh. the original laugh. word laugh so what 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 the system will do as a part of the representation this all these kind of words will be get stem into the original words that is the root word as a laugh means for the purpose of for the purpose of getting your answer related with the statement that you are asked laughing system will not search the laughing system will focus on this word only you are getting my point yes sir understood even if you search for the laughing laugh or the laugh system will stem all these end parts system will chop these end parts and that is called as the stemming and system will focus on only what root words yeah getting mm. that is nothing but the chord as the second uh, part in the representation that is the stemming another things also system has to does that is nothing but the stop word elimination what stop word elimination now let me let me show you the example here suppose uh, here you have asked the question chat board okay now in suppose the question you ask okay when you ask some question now in that question like uh, there used to be the different words like uh, if you ask what is the uh, what what is an artificial intelligence okay now can you tell me what are the stop words in this particular statement stop words and means the words which are not useful for searching is an is and these are the uh, words which are not going to help for the searching the word which is going to help for the searching is nothing but what artificial intelligence artificial so stop words are those high frequency words that are deemed not like to be used for the searching the words which are not going to help for the searching these words are referred as a stop words and the part of the representation also consists of the stop word elimination now the stop words are don't have any kind of specific meaning okay and all these kind of words are comes in the list of the stop list i have mentioned here the examples also like a and the is of and etc etc all that kind of words which don't have any kind of uh, uh, relevance in the searching these all the kind of words comes under the category of the stop word and they are get eliminated okay for when the system does the searching for particular query so these all the things okay these two parts are comes under the category of the user sub system of this part this uh, architecture part that i have shown you so this is now last part still we'll compare with the uh, we'll see that in the last uh, section of this discussion okay now these things already we have discussed related with the user sub system understood the user sub system yes sir now next component uh, that is the but the document sub system what document sub system now in the document sub system first uh, part is acquisition now what do you mean by the acquisition acquisition is what now this this part is this part is finished for now we are on this part correct that yes, is a document sir. subsystem now in that acquisition what do you mean by the acquisition acquisition means what store karun thev na store karun thev na ka store kelela extract karna yes sir extract karna 
Most acquisition is the word taken from the acquiring something. Acquiring. Okay, this the root word of the acquisition is the acquire. Okay, so in the uh, document subsystem, uh, if I if I if you like to ask me in short what exactly this document subsystem consists, this document subsystem consists of the trying to prepare the document related with the user queries. Understood. Trying to prepare the document related with the user queries, and in that first component is the acquisition. Means selection of the documents and other objects from various web resources. Now mostly the text documents are being shown to you as a result. Understood. But also uh, other kind of documents also you will get the result of your query. Like you will get the images, statistics, maps, sounds, videos, etc., etc. Okay. now this acquisition are being done with the help of the another uh, program that is the web crawler you must have heard this term in the web technology what do you mean by the web crawler yes what is the web crawler have you heard this word before web crawler yes or no have you heard this word before web crawler yes or no yes yes or no sir spider type something that is spider is another word for the web crawler now for what purpose it is used it is a kind of it is a software program yes or no yes no spider now spider in the in the real life spider what the spider has hmm one type of robot means spider has the ability to collect the different things together yes or no with the help of his hands legs etc etc he can co collect the different things together so from that yes. this uh, name given as a web crawler okay now uh now main functionality of web crawler is nothing but the doing the acquisition in the sense what collecting the different document different documents related with the user's query together understood whatever the query is being asked by the user related with okay so first component is the document subsystem is what acquisition means what what do you mean by the acquisition yes acquisition means what system does the acquisition means what an acquisition of what the process of extracting sir extracting what information sir information related with what up to his search so acquisition is nothing but the acquiring collecting together selecting the different kind of information related with the users query now that information can be in the form of the text images video etc etc now system does it with the help of the one program and that program is nothing but our web crawler web crawler okay which does what this here i have mentioned uh, the data are collected with the help of the web crawler as a software program uh, and web crawler collect that data which is been stored in the certain database so web crawler are mainly used to create the copy of all the visited pages for later for later processing by the search engine so web crawler collect all this kind of data related with the user's query okay and that is nothing but the first component of the document subsystem that is the acquisition so acquisition of the documents is being done with the help of the web crawler okay then comes the representation also here 
now what is the difference between this representation and the representation in the user search system yes in the user search system also we have seen the component representation here is also yes, the, in the document search system also the representation what do you think what is what can be the difference here so here can search त्यांनी सर्च करून आणि मग जे रिझल्ट असेल ते रिप्रेझेंट केलेलं आहे आता तो युजर सब सिस्टीम मध्ये रिप्रेझेंटेशन कसं होतं की रिप्रेझेंटिंग द युजर स्क्वेरी इन अ सच अ वे दॅट सिस्टीम कॅन अंडरस्टँड इट प्रॉपरली अँड सिस्टीम कॅन गिव्ह यू द गुड रिझल्ट करेक्ट ऑर नॉट येस सर हिअर हिअर दिस रिप्रेझेंटेशन इज वॉट प्रिपेअरिंग द डॉक्युमेंट इन सच अ वे दॅट युजर कॅन अंडरस्टँड इट युजर कॅन सी इट येस ऑर नो येस सर so here is same thing i have mentioned here the system represent and compare the description of each document with that of the query whatever the query is being asked by the user okay here the system represent it compare it with the description of the document and present that user present it to the user with those document whose description are most closest to the query's description so whatever the query is being asked by the user okay based on that query Uh, related documents are collected together in the first component that is acquisition and that acquired documents or the acquired information is being represented in a certain form sir here here i have mentioned preparing documents so that it can be presented to the users so in the second component as a representation on the document sub uh, document sub system system prepare or repre represent the document in such a way that it can be presented to the user it can be uh, uh, given to the user and user can understand it understood so that is nothing but the representation here representation in the document sub system and lastly here the file organization file organization or it can be also considered as a indexing now what do you mean by the indexing here you can see the architecture yeah here is your acquisition representation now here the indexing now what do you mean by the indexing yes what is mean by the indexing yes collection of document orderly ki ek a certain aapla certain order madhe we we used to uh, uh, when you when you arrange that document in certain order that is nothing but the so we can consider as a indexing understood in certain order in the sense now there are the different way of indexing now there can be the sequential sequential file organization sequential in the sense Uh, document by document one record after another record like this kind of things without considering the what is the weightage of certain words what is the weightage of certain uh, documents etc etc but in case of the inform information retrieval system inverted indexing is being utilized what kind of indexing inverted indexing now what do you mean by the in inverted indexing okay so file organization or indexing can be done in the two ways that is the sequential ordering and another is the inverted indexing inverted. now what do you mean by the inverted indexing let me show you the example now here you can see you just see this first statement you can see this okay now in this statement can you tell me can you tell me the weightage of the different words now multiple words are there in that statement which word is having the highest weightage chat boot yes
now here in the you know, uh, yes chat board now in the inverted indexing the highest weightage word is being chosen on the basis of how many times that word has repeated in that statement on the or in that certain document now which is the word which is being repeated number of times in this statement for example yes which is the word which is being repeated multiple times oh no oh, is the stop word it doesn't matter so then text text so text is the word which is being considered as the highest weightage word in this statement understood and accordingly 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 all the different kinds of words within that documents are being checked okay and accordingly indexing is being done okay and with the help of that the certain file organization is being get done understood okay and here you can see same thing i have mentioned the primary data structure of most information retrieval system is in the form of the inverted index we can define the inverted index as a data structure that list for every word all document that contain it and frequency of the occurrences in that document so inverted index is then in which way with the help of what frequency of the occurrences in the document means if certain words has been frequently occurred in that document in certain statement that certain statement will get the first ranking you are getting my point frequency of occurrence means what yes what do you mean by the frequency of occurrence yes what do you mean by the frequency of occurrence how many times this word are how repeated? many times certain word has occurred understood and so the inverted index is being done on the basis of what on the basis of frequency of the occurrence of certain words in the that particular document so That's accordingly it. the indexing of all the kind of document is being done okay now to do the indexing they can be the one way sequential ordering where we don't consider any system don't consider any weightage of the word okay sequentially you know the in the linear way but in the in inverted index term by term list of the records under each term is being considered based on the how many times certain words or certain term has occurred in that particular document and with the help of that heat ratio is being calculated okay according to that heat ratio is being calculated and the result is being presented to the user okay so that is the last part in the document subsystem that is nothing but the file organization or the indexing arrangement of the document in certain particular order okay and for that inverted indexing is being utilized and last part is nothing but what that is the retrieving okay searching and the retrieving that is nothing but the matching what process of matching and the comparing process of matching and comparing and lastly showing the result in certain order now uh, rank by relevance or last in first out in certain order you will get the results in front of you or whatever the things you are searching okay so lastly is the searching or the comparing or the retrieval sub system where process of matching and the comparing happens what documents in the file match that query is started so query is uh, stated so initially whatever the query you have mentioned there with that query exact matching occurs okay and according to your matching the certain retrieval process happens retrieving object means certain documents get retrieved and result is 
shown to you so that is the last component which is nothing but what uh, matching and the comparing the same part we can see in the uh, architecture also here yeah here you can see the last part here comparison function okay and accordingly in comparison function those document which is having the highest hit ratio those documents which is having the highest ranking that is presented to the user here you can see yes all of you can see it yes sir so this is nothing but whole our information retrieval system so 10 marks question number of times being asked related with the information retrieval system now instead of directly asking the question question being also asked in the some sub topic of this uh, whole topic that we have discussed sub topic in the sense question might is being also asking uh, explain the representation component of the user sub system in the RTA, in the information retrieval system that time you have to explain that part with the help of such kind of examples ki how the representation happens on the user sub system like uh, representing the document without headers and the tags uh, then the stemming stop word elimination on this on this sub topics the two marks note can also be asked what do you mean by the stemming what do you mean by the stop word elimination what do you mean by the inverted indexing how the inverted indexing is get done etc etc okay so sub question number of sub questions are also possible related with this topic understood yes sir how the inverted indexing is done yes what is the logic behind the doing uh, inverted indexing yes what example i i have shown you the example how the inverted indexing is done are you getting the question yes are you getting the question what i am asking yes sir so how the inverted indexing is done what is the logic behind the inverted indexing it depends on occurrence of the document or word occurrence document. of the certain words within a what? document Docu occurrence yes. in the sense we can call it as a weightage of certain words now how the weightage is yes. decided कि तो पर्टिकुलर वर्ड त्या स्टेटमेंट मध्ये किंवा त्या डॉक्युमेंट मध्ये किती वेळेस रिपीट झालाय इफ इट इज रिपीटेड नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स देन दैट पर्टिकुलर वर्ड इज हैविंग द हायेस्ट वेटेज एंड इट द इंडेक्सिंग विल बी डन ऑफ दैट डॉक्युमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वेटेज ओनली ओके सो दिस इज ऑल द पार्ट्स सो वी हैव डिस्कस दिस आर्किटेक्चर इन द थ्री पार्ट्स दैट इज यूजर सब सिस्टम देन डॉक्युमेंट सब सिस्टम एंड लास्टली द कंपैरिजन एंड द मैचिंग एंड यू विल गेट द फाइनल रिजल्ट ओके सो दैट्स इट फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर we will see the remaining part next time thank you sir thank you sir